In the early 70s, there was a need for an extra crossing of the Seine west of Rouen to supplement the tank of East suspension bridge further west. The Seine is wide and navigable here, and the French needed a cost-effective design for a bridge that they knew would only have light traffic. The Breton Bridge was designed as a cable-stayed concrete box girder bridge. Unlike the Orwell Bridge, where the 190 metre main span is cantilevered over the river on piers, the French needed a main span of 320 metres for the Breton Bridge, well beyond the integrity of concrete box girders. Traditionally, the solution to the problem was to construct a suspension bridge, which is very expensive. The answer for a Breton was to construct a cable-stayed bridge where the box girder road deck is cantilevered from above by a series of cables rather than piers below. This means that the bridge can have the longest spans required for a wide river like the Seine. The Breton Bridge was one of the earliest reinforced concrete box girder cable-stayed bridges. The Orwell Bridge is a functional piece of engineering, itself a pioneer in other ways but the cabling on the Breton Bridge gives it a certain French elegance. Since Breton, the French have gone on to build other large cable stay bridges, including one downstream of here, and most spectacularly, the Mio Viaduct in the south of the country. Without Breton, travellers prior to 1977 would have had to travel through the centre of Rouen if they wanted to cross the Seine in this area. But after that, a wide gap had been bridged. The Christian faith is about bridging a gap, the gap between the human race and God. As much as people may want to know and reach God, we're prevented from doing so by a large gap. And that's our own failure, our own wrongdoing, our sin. But God bridged that gap in the death of Jesus on the cross, offering us a way of forgiveness, of hope, of his presence and power in our lives. He wants us to have all the benefits of knowing him right now. So, the French built a bridge, but if I want all the benefits of what's on the other side of the river, then I need to jump into my car and drive over the bridge. If we want to know the benefits of what God has for us in Jesus, then we need to accept God's offer of forgiveness and follow him. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me.